What's up guys? In this tutorial, you'll learn how to prototype a one-page website with a clickable navigation or using Figma. So this is going to be beginner friendly, but what I'm going to advise you to do is to download this file. I'm going to attach a link. You download this file, or if for some reason you're not able to access this file, you can create your own Figma file with something similar, having the header with the navigation, having these sections which I'm going to go through with you and when you're done with that you can come and follow up with the tutorial. What we have in front of us here is a one page website so basically a website that has just one page and if you want to navigate all you need to do is to click on let's say you're going to click on about and it's going to take you to the section that has the about. If you click on my services it takes you to the section that has my services all within that specific page. You will not have to navigate to a new page. In front of us we have a website for a coach and this is a template which you can use if in case you like and you want to use it in any of your projects feel free to make use of it but I appreciate that you recognize where you got the template from. So in order for us to create a prototype we will need to go through our various sections so you see exactly what is needed in case you want to follow up with your own file. At the top we have a header, a header has a logo and it has navigation links. So you notice that a logo and a navigation links are not components. I do not want to go as far as creating a component for this. Normally you will have the default state, you have the whole file state and the active state. Maybe in another tutorial I'm going to create that, but for this particular tutorial we're going to focus on just prototyping to make sure that each of these navigation links work. The next section is the hero section. Another thing I want you to take note of, if you look at the layers panel, you notice that I have called this frame home. So you need to make sure that each section is a frame. It needs to have this icon that indicates that it's a frame. So you have this frame, I'll just move this. So that is what is in the frame. The next section is about, so this is about the coach. The next section is my services. Notice that all of them are frames. These are not groups. Frames, I insist. You need to make sure that they are frames. The next section is testimonials. The next is the CTA banner. And the last but one section is a contact. Finally, we have the footer. So how are we going to make sure that if we click on the home, it takes us to at least a representation of what the home should be. We'll start by making sure that the header is a group. Right now you notice the navigation elements are separated. So we're just going to create a simple group. I'll just select all of them, holding shift and control G to group. And I'll select the logo and the header. This is the main container that carries both the logo and the navigation links. And I'm going to group them. So this is the header. Okay, so we are going to start by prototyping this. We'll go to the prototype tab and we'll start with our header. I noticed Figma has added a new feature which I had been looking forward to for so long and that is a sticky header feature. So we want to make sure that this header is sticky such that if we are scrolling through, it's always going to be at the very top. Make sure that you select the header. We can even give this a name. We call this header. Then come to where you have position and we're going to click on it. We're going to select sticky top at top edge. And let's click on this to have a very quick preview of what is supposed to happen. Okay. See? Sticky, so it works. We are done with the very first phase. Now our next phase is to make sure that our navigation links are connected to their corresponding sections. We're going to start by clicking on the home link. Hold down control and click on home so it selects the home element directly on its own layer. We click on the plus node and we're going to drag it down. We want it to take us to this section. So a trigger is going to be on click. 
action is going to be scroll to and our destination is going to be home. Why is our destination home? Remember I had earlier mentioned that you need to make sure that all your sections have a corresponding title. That is going to make it easy for you to find the sections you want to link to each navigation item. So in this case, this first section is what I titled home and that is why it was easy for me to find this even on the list here. So home, I'm going to give this an animation of animate. You can choose it to be ease out, ease in out, anyone you like, but in this case, I'm going to go with ease in and out. Okay. Now the next one I'm going to do is to connect about the about section. So you need to make sure that it picks on the section you want to connect to. In this case, we have trigger on click, action scroll to, destination about coach, and the animation is fine. You can even change the duration of the animation if you want it to take longer. I will do this for my services. So you notice my services has a drop down. In this tutorial, I will not be showing you how to create a drop down. So stay tuned to the next tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a drop down menu. Now we're going to link this to the services section. And I just like to look at the pop-up to confirm so the destination is fine, which is my services. And I will zoom out so that I can find the other navigation link. Testimonial should link to the testimonial section. Okay, you see, yes, it's a link to frame 25. So I'll need to change this to testimonial. So it has linked to the correct frame. And we are going to go to the last one, which is contact. And I'm going to link it to a contact section. Just confirm, always confirm. So this is destination contact. Okay. And I think I like what I see. Let's just change this flow to home. And we can preview to see if a navigation link work. We're going to go to the present button and we are going to click on home, it takes us here, click on about, it takes us here, we click on my services, it takes us to the my services section, we click on testimonials, it takes us to the testimonial section, and contact takes us to the contact section. Let's just scroll back to the top and click on contact, it takes us to the contact section, about takes us to the about section, and home takes us to the home section. So guys, this is how you can prototype a one-page website on Figma. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe so that you can see more tutorials on how you can make very good use of Figma to do basic and advanced stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share.